Hello everyone, welcome to our video today. Our team is going to present about the sustainable planetary health for future generations. First and foremost, let us look at some photos. The photo show is about the worst flood ever to happen in Malaysia. More than 200,000 people were affected for several months, while 21 were killed. These floods have been described as the worst in the case. Dear audience, have you ever been thinking about why are all these disasters keep happening in our beloved country? Yes, obviously, not just our country. Our whole planetary health is in danger. There is no doubt that our global environment is changing. From the hottest year on record, to the worldwide experience of pollinators, to the global collapse of fisheries, and to our use of about half of the planet's livable space to feed ourselves. Although the average global citizen's health has improved over the past century, the stability of our planet's life support systems has sharply declined, putting recent public health and development gains at risk. It is not just climate change, it is everything change. We face not only the disrupted climate system, but a sixth mass extinction of life on Earth. Global scale pollution of air, water, and soil, shortage of arable land and fresh water, Progressive changes in land use and cover, and degradation of marine systems. And all of these depends on planetary health. So, what's actually the meaning of planetary health and its principle? Well, planetary health refers to the health of human civilizations and a set of natural systems on which it depends. On. And the principle is to seek out further solutions to global human and environmental sustainability through collaboration and research across all sectors, including the economy, energy, agriculture, water, and health. So, what should we do to sustain our planetary health for future generations? There are several aspects that we should focus on, including reducing food waste, refrigeration, water saving, plant rich diet, tree hearts, uses of solar power and wind energy tropical forest. Back to our photos shown earlier, one of the main reasons for causing flood is because of heavy rainfall. Deforestation causes more carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere, causing global warming. The melting of snow and ice rises the sea level and leads to heavy rainfall. Therefore, we should restore tropical forests, either by allowing them to grow back on their own or by supporting their growth through planting. This could have significant impact on reducing global warming. And indeed, from couple people, we can do this. It is not only for our own good, it is also for the happiness of our future generations. Our simple step today on sustaining the planetary health may benefit them for years. Thus, let us do our own part as a good citizen and make our world a better place to live. That's all for now. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!